back to our virus programming project. Um, after cleaning up our code last time, now let's get going to add a bit more functionality again. This time we just want to add a bit more randomness to our scenario. Let's get going. So now that we have improved the quality of our code, we can look at doing the next functional change. Remember when we reset this and when we run it, initially all the people run in exactly the same direction. Uh, that is not random enough. I want them all to run in random directions. So the first thing I do is I want to initialize each person with a random direction. We have already seen once how we can get a random number in Greenfoot with a greenfoot.getRandomNumber method. So I can go to the person and in the person um, class I can just add a constructor and in the constructor set the, um, the direction randomly. So I just say public, no, not void. Um, I want a constructor that doesn't have a return type. So I just say public person and this is my constructor. Um, oops, I did not want there. So so I write down here what I'm doing and here I can just say turn and then I take a random number out of 360 degrees. So I just say greenfoot.get random number out of 360. This one is a constant that I can just leave in there. I don't need to make it a named constant because a circle has 360 degrees. This will never change. Um, there is no reason why later I would change my mind and use a different number here. So this is not a number where I have to prepare my code for um, different values to be used. So that is a number that is actually fine to hard code in your code because it really is an unchangeable number. So now I'm saying whenever I create a person, I'm turning them randomly in some random direction. Um, and let's see what that does now. So now I have a whole crowd of people. They all go about their business and run around randomly across the screen. That is the next good um, improvement. But while we're here, um, looking at this code, if you have listened to pre the previous episode where I talked about code quality and giving um, methods a name, it is also, um, we will also notice here in the act method that I've written code direct directly in the act method that doesn't really say what it does. So we will um, keep an eye on this. I expect that we will want to refactor that at some point as well when there's a bit more code in the act method. Okay, that's it for today already. Short and sweet episode, um, an easy bit to add this time. Add it to your own project at home and try out a few different things as well if you like. We'll continue in the next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.